Welcome or welcome back on C Square. In this video clip, we're gonna look to the graph of cotangent. Right? This is the graph. This is the cotangent, and we kind of graph this one on the interval 0 to pi, and I'm gonna use the unit circle. So let's do a table. And on this table, I'm gonna put x, sine of x. And in fact, let me start with cosine. Cosine and sine of x. And here, cotangent of x. Okay, why do, do I put these two functions? Because if you remember, cotangent is defined as cosine over sine of x. Okay, so let's start to zero, zero radius, right? right? The cosine here will be this one, and the sine will be zero. So if we uh, do this division, we have a problem, right? You cannot do it. So I'm going to put here a bar is undefined. Then go, let's go to the next one. This is going to be this guy, which is pi over six. Uh, the cosine is square root of 3 over 2, and the sine is 1 over 2. Uh, if we do this quotient, right, square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, that will be square root of 3 over 2 times 2 over 1, right? We end up with square root of 3. Then we go to pi over 4. And pi over 4 cosine is square root of 2 over 2. And sine is square root of 2 over 2 is this guy here. If we do this quotient, we get 1. The next angle will be pi over 3, 60 degree, right here. The cosine is 1 half. The sine is square root of 3 over 2. If we do this quotient, we're going to end up with square root of 3 over 3 if you rationalize. The next point is 90 degree, or pi over 2. And uh, the cosine there is 0, and the sine is uh, 1. If we do this quotient, we get 0. So that was quadrant 1. We're going to move to quadrant 2. Quadrant 2, the, two, the first uh, point, this one, f, is 2 pi over 3, 120 degree. Okay. Cosine is negative 1 half, and uh, sine is square root of 3 over 2. So we're going to end up with negative square root of 3 over 3. The next point here, g, 135 degree, or 3 pi over 4. Uh, the, the cosine is negative square root of 2 over 2. The sine is square root of 2 over 2. So we're going to end up with negative 1. Uh, the next guy, h here, 150 degree, or 5 pi over 6. That will be the, the cosine is negative square root of 3 over 2, and the sine is 1 over 2. This one is going to be negative square root of 3. And the last one I'm going to do in this table, it's this one, i, it's 180 degree, or just or pi. Okay, the cosine is negative 1, the sine is 0. Again, we get something that is called on D, phi. We're going to have the same pattern in 3 and 4. In fact, whatever we get in quadrant 1 is going to be in quadrant 3, and 2 and 4 will match. Okay? So now we can do the graph, which I'm going to try to put it here. Okay? And you notice the first one is 0 undefined, which means I'm going to draw an asymptote. This blue line is the asymptote. And let's move to the next one. Pi over 6, square root of 3. Um, somewhere here, let's say. Pi over 4 and 1. It's going to go a little bit down. Pi over 3 and square root of 3. That will even go further down. And then we have this, pi over 2 and 0. Okay, this is the, an intercept. So the graph is going to be something like that. Okay, 
and then we can move to the next one. This one here, gonna be somewhere here. We're gonna move to this guy, which is gonna be somewhere here. Five by over six, and it's gonna be even further down. And then we have this part again is undefined. So we're gonna draw another vertical asymptote. And that's it. Okay, so this is the graph of cotangent in zero to pi. If you're going to do it for 2 pi, you're going to end up with something similar. Okay, uh, you can create a table and you will see it's going to be something similar. In fact, I do have the picture here. There you go. This is the graph, and you notice these two asymptotes here, the one we talk about, this is the one at 2 pi. Yeah, cotangent. Okay, and you have more periods here, you can see also. Uh, on the left side of the uh, y-axis, okay? I put a summary here, this is very important, and there is another thing that you want to remember. Let's see an example and see how we get that. Okay, for, for instance, we take a look to this cotangent of 2x. So, first thing I want to do is the period, which is pi over b, pi over 2, right? Pretty easy, right? And then take this guy and make it equals to zero, yeah. which is pretty simple, right? X equals zero. That is the first asymptote. Okay, so basically now I can do the graph and I say, hey, here at zero, I have an asymptote. Where is the next one? Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Now here in the middle is going to be pi over 4, right? Half of pi over 3 is pi over 4. And the graph is going to look something like this. Oops, the other way it's decreasing, sorry. Yeah, that is the thing that you want to remember. Uh, cotangent is decreasing. Tangent is the one that is increasing, okay? And then you can do one more period if you need. Uh, that will be pi here. Right here in the middle will be what? Uh, and we should have something like, like this, right? So here is going to be 3 pi over 4. Okay, in fact, let's see the graph. It's right here. And you notice what I meant before. Okay, you go ahead and try this one. Pause the video clip and let's see what we get. This is the graph of cotangent of 4 pi over x. You notice the pi cancel out. So we get a period that is a regular number, 0.25 or 1 4. We get this x equals 0, which is the asymptote. So you ask yourself if that is always the first asymptote for cotangent. Yes, if this contact, the cotangent in this form, that, that's true. Then the second asymptote is uh, after one period, 1 4 and then find the midpoint and do a decreasing curve. We have the picture here also, and you notice the same story as in those. And uh, the video. Okay, if you enjoyed this little clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Swift for more help. Thank you.